At first glance, a horse and a zebra look like close cousins, and biologically they absolutely are. Both belong to the same genus, Equus, and share a common ancestor that once roamed ancient grasslands millions of years ago. Yet despite their similar body shapes, hooves, and even facial expressions, horses and zebras live radically different lives. One became humanity's trusted partner, shaping civilizations and carrying empires on its back. The other remained fiercely wild, striped like a living barcode, refusing domestication no matter how hard humans tried. Today, we're going to explore what truly separates a horse from a zebra, not just in appearance, but in behavior, evolution, survival strategies, and the unique paths that led them where they are now, right here on History of Simple Things. Horses and zebras split from a shared evolutionary line millions of years ago, but geography played a huge role in shaping who they became. Horses evolved primarily across Eurasia and later spread globally, often in open plains where cooperation with humans eventually became advantageous. Zebras, on the other hand, evolved in Africa, a continent filled with some of the world's most efficient predators. Lions, hyenas, and crocodiles shaped zebra behavior into something very different from the calmer, more compliant horse. Over time, horses leaned toward adaptability and social bonding beyond their own species, while zebras evolved to prioritize constant alertness and self-defense. Same roots, different pressures, completely different outcomes. One of the most obvious differences between horses and zebras is the zebra's iconic stripes. These aren't just for looks. Scientists believe zebra stripes help confuse predators by breaking up the animal's outline when running in a herd, making it difficult for a lion to single out one target. There's also strong evidence that stripes deter biting insects like setsi flies, which carry deadly diseases in Africa. Horses, lacking these pressures, developed a wide range of coat colors instead, from chestnut and bay to gray and black. These variations became even more pronounced through selective breeding by humans, who valued beauty, speed, or strength over survival camouflage. If you've ever stood next to a calm horse, you might assume zebras are similar, just striped. That assumption would be a mistake. Horses are naturally social and responsive, making them ideal for domestication. They read body language well, form bonds, and can be trained to trust humans. Zebras, however, are notoriously unpredictable. They kick harder, bite faster, and react aggressively to perceived threats. This isn't because zebras are mean, but because their survival depends on constant readiness. In the wild, hesitation can mean death. Even zebras raised around humans retain this intense wariness, which is why attempts to domesticate them have almost always failed. Physically, horses and zebras are more evenly matched than people expect. Both are fast runners, capable of impressive bursts of speed. Horses, especially breeds developed for racing or work, tend to have greater stamina and smoother gaits, which makes them ideal for long-distance travel and riding. Zebras, while slightly less refined in movement, are incredibly tough. Their muscles and bones are built for sudden escapes and endurance under stress. A zebra can sprint, stop, pivot, and kick with explosive force, often while surrounded by predators. Horses are powerful athletes. Zebras are survival specialists. Horses typically live in structured herds with clear social roles, and this hierarchy makes cooperation easier. They communicate through subtle cues, ear movements, tail swishes, posture, 
that humans eventually learn to read and respond to. Zebras also live in groups, but their social structure is more defensive. Their herds function like moving fortresses with constant scanning and tight formations. Zebras rely heavily on loud brays, sharp alarm signals, and visual patterns created by their stripes when grouped together. While both animals are social, horses evolve to collaborate, while zebras evolve to stay alert and ready to flee. Perhaps the greatest difference between horses and zebras is humanity's influence. Horses reshaped human history. They carried farmers, warriors, traders, and explorers, shrinking continents, and accelerating communication. Selective breeding transformed horses into countless specialized breeds, each tailored for speed, strength, or temperament. Zebras never went through this process. Africa's environment made domestication less practical, and zebras' natural aggression made cooperation costly. Instead of adapting to humans, zebras adapted to survive alongside some of the most dangerous animals on Earth, remaining untamed symbols of the wild. Horses and zebras show us how deeply environment can shape destiny. Starting from nearly the same biological blueprint, one species slowly learned to coexist with humans, adapting its behavior, body, and even personality through generations of shared work and trust. The other remained shaped by constant danger, where hesitation could mean death and independence was the only path to survival. Neither path is superior, each is simply a response to the world it was born into. In that sense, horses and zebras are living proof that evolution isn't about becoming gentler or stronger, but about becoming right for the challenges around you. So the next time you see a horse calmly grazing or a zebra standing alert on the African plains, remember that you're looking at two outcomes of the same ancient story. One learned to run alongside humans, carrying our burdens and ambitions. The other learned to rely only on itself, surviving through awareness, speed, and instinct. Different lives, different choices made by nature, but both equally remarkable. And that contrast is what makes the horse and the zebra such a fascinating comparison in the first place. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.